So the M1 mechanics paper, June 2007, question number one. So we've got a particle P attached to a string and we've got a force, horizontal force of 12 and at the moment the particle is in equilibrium, that's important. That means there's no motion and that's going to make some of our equations a little bit easier. Um, however, we do have, well let's draw some forces on our diagram first of all. Let's get our diagram up to scratch. So. Um, if with a particle P we're experiencing a tension pulling away up the rope there and tension T newtons will also the weight of the particle is going to be acting straight down now. I've not said the see the, the mass times G or as we just want to find the weight in this part of the question, I'm just going to call this W the force, the weight acting down in newtons. So we can see that the 12 and the w are acting perpendicular so the only force which is being a little bit annoying is that 20, that t acting at 20 from the, uh, from the vertical. So let's just, first thing to do is draw a force diagram, force triangle with that t as the hypotenuse and then we can break it into, so if t is the hypotenuse, we know this angle up here is 20 degrees, and we can break this into horizontal and vertical components. So this is the opposite, so this is t sine 20 degrees, and this is the adjacent, so this is t cosine 20 degrees. Now that's going to make our life a little bit easier. So before we even start to solve the question, what I would do in this case, I'm going to just resolve in two different directions. So I'm going to resolve in a horizontal direction, uh, right in the right sense, so right is positive. Well, we've got 12 acting to the right from the particle, and I've got the horizontal component of tension is T sine 20, and it's acting away from the particle, so it's minus T sine 20, as it's in equilibrium, it's equal to zero. So let's call that equation number one. And if I do the same thing resolving in the vertical direction with up in the positive sense, I get, well, I get the vertical component of tension is acting up, which is our T cosine 20, and our weight of our particle is acting down. Um, no motion, it's in equilibrium, so uh, we'll call that equation number two. So I've not even started to solve the question yet, I just drew an accurate diagram, got my forces, my forces that weren't acting perpendicular, uh, broke them into components which were acting perpendicular or parallel to the other forces. Now we can answer the question A. Ask us to find the tension in the string. Well, clearly the question, we're going to use tension, we're going to use equation number one because that's got the only I've known as tension. So T, rearranging it, is equal to 12 over sine 20 degrees, and then uh, tapping that into our calculator, you get 35.085652528, which is approximately equal to 35.1 newtons, rounding to three significant figures. Okay, so for part B, very similar process. We're obviously going to use equation number two. This one's got two unknowns. Well, it was two unknowns, but we now know a value of t, and I'm going to actually keep the answer from my calculator. It's very important. We'll come to that in a second. So use two. So if I rearrange w is equal to t cosine 20, rearranging 2, so that's equal to, now I'm not going to use the rounded answer, I'm going to use this answer, we're just doing my calculator, I'm just going to use the answer button and multiply that by cos 20, and I get 32.969729903, which is approximately equal to 33.0 newtons, 
rounding it to three significant figures. And I'm rounding it to the same because I used the, didn't use a rounded answer, I used the exact answer. If I'd used the rounded answer, I would only round this answer to two significant figures, otherwise I'm going to get an error. Okay, and we're finished.